Hey everybody, Captain Dan here. Today I want to teach you how to do an FG knot very, very simply. I have uh, worked on trying to perfect an FG knot for the longest time. I see people like you got to keep tension on all four lines and you got to do this, you got to do that. And it's almost impossible to tie one on board a boat which is what you'll really need to do. Lines break, you want to change your gear out. The tutorials that I've seen about the FG knot, it's like, it would, it's impossible to tie on, on board. But I've got a way now that I can tie that FG knot in probably less than a minute, a minute and a half tops, and it works like a charm. And as you all know, we use now, we've been really getting involved into some of the slow pitch jigging. And you can see how right here, that that eye of that top, actually all of them, all of the guides, extremely skinny tight tight guides and so it takes a knot like the FG knot to be able to get through those guides well, here's one here that I've tied recently just tied it for practice but it's a very slim very tight and very very strong knot but again the key is to be able to tie it when you need to tie it not to be sitting in your garage or your man cave you know, for, you know, two or three hours rigging up all your rods and reels. And then when you get out of the boat, you either snap a line or whatever happens. You need to be able to tie that knot on the spot without a lot of hassle. And so I finally figured out a way to do that. And I'm going to show you that today. Follow me. So the FG knot made simple, quick and easy. Anybody can do it. I've got here some 50 pound monofilament line, just some regular old 50 pound heavy line. And uh, I've got 20 pound braid. And you simply take the mono, place it under the braid. This would be your reel up here. And then here's your tag. So very simply, take the reel side and just bring it around and tight. And then bring the bottom one around and tight. You do it 10 times back and forth. Around and back around and back pull it tight around and back so picture yourself on a boat being able to do this at any time any place that you need to tie an fg knot round and back round and back so i think uh we said what 10 times back and forth i mean you can even do it a little bit more just kind of depends i think a minimum a minimum would be would be 10. And so here's, here's what you're starting to build. You're starting to build this knot right here. Okay, so we're going to bring it around and back and tight. Around and back. And then just kind of keep going. This knot is one of the strongest knots that I've ever, ever utilized. And it's the thinnest. It'll go through the tiniest of rod guides which is so important when you're out fishing. You don't want that thing hanging up on your guide. All right, so here we go. I think we're pretty close to this. Like I said, you could do as many as you really want, but that's what she's gonna sort of sort start to look like. You could even tighten it up a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna do a couple more. Again, very simple. You don't need tension on all four of them. Like I've seen so many uh, of the uh, other examples of how to tie this thing. And they make it like, a, like, like it's so hard and so difficult. But the reality is, is it's a very simple knot once you get the hang of it. And like I say, the most important part is you could tie it anywhere. All right. So I think that's good. So they're nice and tight. They look good. You've got some nice coils there. So the next thing we're going to do is just take this line and run it along here. So the line from your rod, run it along the mono tag and simply do an overhand knot right here. And I usually do two. And I would usually wet this, just cinch it down. Very simple, just one. And I think I'll do another. We'll just do two quick overhand knots. Bring it around and through and just cinch it down again I'd probably usually use my teeth here but for training purposes all right there we go so I'm just going to take these two and just kind of tighten and make sure that they're tight 
and you should have something that looks like this to the reel tag tag and then of course your your main line all right so the next step is very very simple take it wrap it around your fingers or whatever you can wrap it around sometimes i wear a glove so the line doesn't slice my hand open just take it Give it a good, even, steady pull. And you can see that knot just tighten right up. And what's happening is, is the braid digs in right into the mono. And now what you're left with is the tag end of the mono, which we're going to cut off right now. Cut that as close as we can. Okay. I'm going to give it another yank. Pull as tight as you possibly can. And then finish it with two or three or four if you want. Just very simple overhand knots. Braid to braid. Just bring it right down. Again, I would probably put this in my... I'd hold it in my teeth probably and do it that way. But for this purpose, I just want to show you how simple it is to just take it. Again, overhand or underhand. I could do either way. Simple knot. Basically, what you're doing here is you're just kind of covering up that little stub of mono so it doesn't get caught. So we did two. We could do like three or four. You kind of get the idea. And then when you're done with that, very simply, take it. You don't need to cut the, um, the braid as close if you don't want to. I like it to be pretty. I also like when my scissors are a little sharper than this. They're terrible. Okay, so I'm going to yank on it one more time, tighten her down, and there it is. A very simple, a very quick, a very easy FG knot that you can tie anywhere, any place. It's very slim, strong, goes to the guides very easy, does not get hung up. So, there you have it. That is my now go-to knot for a braid to mono uh, connection. Um, it's a really strong knot and it's been working out great, especially on my slow pitch rods where those guides are so, so tiny. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Um, appreciate that very much. And I'm off on my way with Elizabeth over to head over to Heiko and Caitlin's to go do an afternoon of hopefully some awesome, awesome fishing. So follow me. <laughs>